Welcome back to Grade 7 Math, Lesson Number 1.5, Area of a Trapezoid. Trapezoids are interesting to look at. Like a parallelogram, a trapezoid has four sides. However, a trapezoid is different from a parallelogram because a trapezoid has only one set of parallel sides, as we are going to see in the forthcoming slides. Because the top and bottom sides of a trapezoid have different lengths, calculating the area can be a little tricky. Fortunately, there is a handy dandy formula which we can use to calculate the trapezoid's area. Let's first look at how mathematicians came up with this formula. So let's begin by drawing a trapezoid, and we're going to label the top and bottom sides A and B. And you should also note that these are the two parallel lines in a trapezoid. Now let's draw a line across the middle, or the median, of the trapezoid. If we were to measure the length of the median using a ruler, we would find that it is one half the sum of size A and B. So in other words, if we took, if we measured side A, measured side B, added them, and then divided by two, we would get the same length as this dotted line. We measure the height by drawing a vertical line, just like we do for a triangle. Okay, so we are measuring the height using a completely straight vertical line, no diagonals. Okay, let's put the ideas from the last two slides together. With a parallelogram, we multiply the base by the height. But for a trapezoid, we are going to multiply the median m by the height. So the formula we use will be, here's a challenge. I said that we're going to multiply the median by the height. Let's put the video on pause and try to figure out what our formula for a trapezoid will be. When you think you have an answer, press play and we'll see how you did. Okay. So we're back, and the formula for the area of a trapezoid is A plus B times height divided by 2. If you don't feel too sure about your understanding, go back and watch the last three slides. But if you feel comfortable with this formula, then let's move forward. Okay, so let's try an example here. We have A as 8 centimeters, B as 12 centimeters, and the height as 6. So that means area equals. Use big bracket because I'm using an inner bracket. We're going to add A plus B. That equals 12. If I multiply that by the height, that means I'm multiplying by 6. And the whole thing going to be divided by 2. Okay, so following the order of operations, 8 plus 12 is 20. I still have to multiply that by 6. And then we need to divide by 2. So, 20 times 6 is 120. And half of that is 60. And take note of my units. 
because I'm working with area. The area is going to be 60 centimeters squared. All right. Here's one for you to try at home. If you feel shaky on this, put the video on pause or actually put it on rewind and review that last example. If you feel confident, put the video on pause. Try this out at home because we will take it up in tomorrow's class. And one final example for you to look at. Just take note. I've just turned this upside down. So sometimes we can see B on top and A on the bottom. But that doesn't change our area formula. So give this example a try. Put the video on pause. Because we will take this up tomorrow. All right then. And yes, trapezoids are freaking awesome. After we go through those last two sample problems, I'm going to give you a variety of area of a trapezoid problems to work on in class. But until we meet again, this concludes today's video.